Hello guys, today I'm opening up Sapphire Pulse 5700 XT. I will try to, uh, to change thermal pads and improve the memory temperatures. Uh, right now uh, the core is um, below 50 degrees, which means that the thermal paste is doing a good job, but the memory temperature is above 90 degrees. Uh, this means that uh, pads are not that good and the other reason is because this card has two separate radiators one for the memory and the other one for the actual GPU and uh, I will try to change the memory pads uh, I have uh, here the uh, Gallid 1.5 millimeter and uh, Sapphire, Sapphire actually uh, suggests using one millimeter uh, but since uh, the radiators are separate I think I can put 1.5 millimeter without any troubles we will see if that's possible or not and then I will see if I get temperature improvements. And uh, the second part of the video will be uh, me putting these 2mm thermal pads on the back of the card. Uh, here, connecting it to the back plate. So let's see if that can actually help or not. This is the card I will be open, uh, opening up today. It has 96 degrees memory temperature while the core is below 50 degrees. And this is the common case with cards that have two radiators, especially 5700 XTs. And the fan is around 60%. I have uh, two more of these and they're both above uh, 90 something percent, uh, 90 something degrees on the memory temperature with fans being like 40-50%, which is a lot, while the core stays below 50. So let's hope thermal pads uh, help us and uh, I'm hoping to decrease the memory temp by 15 degrees. So this is how the card looks on the inside. This is the radiator for the, the memory, as you can see. However, I don't think I can fit uh, 1.5 millimeter pads here because what I didn't see is that on this part uh, goes directly the pipes from the second radiator, this one. So that might be a problem, but I will still try to put 1.5 millimeters. Maybe I can squeeze them in and see how it goes. So, and uh, I decided to try another thing. I will actually try to put thermal paste on this part here. So it has better contact with the pipes on the other radiator. Let's see how it goes. Okay, after a lot of cutting, uh, I'm finally done. I put um, all the thermal pads on all the components. And uh, hopefully I can pull this off with 1.5 millimeter pads. And um, let's, uh, let's try to assemble this and see what happens. I really don't want to open it up again and change to one millimeter pad. So I'm um, fingers crossed that this works. I want to test uh, and see what change did uh, the thermal pads cause and then I will add the uh, thermal pads here so I can connect uh, this to backplate and see if that helps as well. Uh, I put uh, thermal paste a little bit too far here. I will wipe it and uh, connect the fan and put the card in and see what we did. And here we are. The memory temperature dropped for like 8 degrees. Uh, the core temperature increased by 2 degrees, uh, which I suspected because I used the uh, thicker pads than the ones um, recommended. So I'm thinking that uh, the core temperature wouldn't change uh, if I used 1 millimeter, but 2 degrees uh, 
honestly I do not care about that. The good thing is that the memory temperature dropped by 8 degrees. The fan speed does not that affect that much memory temperature because the second radiator is very small and I don't think uh, a fan affects it so much. So I will try to, to let the memory goes back to previous like 95-96 degrees and see how much fan percentage I get here. As you can see we dropped <coughs> around uh, 35% on the fan and uh, reached the same temperature. It might not seem like a big uh, improvement but if your uh, rig or uh, graphic card is in your living quarters 30% of the fan is a lot uh, so it helps uh, keep the, the card uh, quieter. Not uh, The improvement is not as much as I expected but uh, it's still an improvement. And now finally I will uh, try to add uh, two millimeter pads on the back to the back plate. I don't think that will help much but uh, that was my intention from the beginning so I will do that and see if, if there is improvement at all. So first I will uh, replace these, um, these two pads that are already here and then I will put uh, pads for the memory here. The, the reason why I think it will not uh, be so good is because I don't know if it, this can be seen uh, on the camera but uh, there is a thin layer of plastic here and plastic is not that good conductor of um, heat so I don't think it will help much. Uh, if you can see here where they put the, the pads, there is no plastic underneath. But I don't want to, to remove this, so I will just try to put it on top and see if it helps at all or not. So I've been informed wrong. Uh, the two millimeters on the back are too thin. You need to put at least three millimeter here uh, because they don't uh, even touch the back plate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another layer and see if that works. So I added another layer of uh, 1.5 millimeter pads and this is turning into a real mess. Let's see if this helps at all or I just wasted uh, good pads. So in total I have 3.5 uh, thickness here, millimeters, but um, it is a bit a bit too much so I think three millimeters are perfect for this. So if you want to do this uh, buy three millimeter pads but let's see if there is a point of doing this or not. So basically, as I suspected, there is no difference if you have uh, thermal pads uh, on the back or not. So my suggestion is don't do it. I will now test if uh, I will test to put the fan to 60% and see if there is difference at that fan rate. And here with 62% fan, we can see a little bit improvement on the memory temperature, like um, two to four degrees. This can be anything. It does not necessarily need to mean that uh, the thermal pads on the back helped, but let's say they did shave off two to four degrees. So in the end, if you want to change the thermal pads on your 5700 XT Pulse, I recommend you to do it to shave off uh, like 10-12 degrees maybe of your memory and if that is important to you you should do it use one millimeter thermal pads not like I did 1.5 I will be ordering one millimeter pads and doing the same thing on my other uh, 5700 XT and see if there is a difference I don't think there will be much of a difference maybe the core temperature stays one or two degrees cooler uh, and if you really really want to add thermal pads on the back I suggest use three millimeter thermal pads I don't know if it is worth it uh, I will not be doing it on my other cards. And uh, that's it. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, see you.